So this question reads, A critic has prepared a review of exactly six music CDs, Headstrong, In Flight, Nice, Quasi, Reunion, and Sounds Good. Each CD received a rating of either one, two, three, or four stars, with each CD receiving exactly one rating. Although the ratings were meant to be kept secret until the review is published, the following facts have been leaked to the public. All right, so we have our CDs. They're ranked one through four. Okay, now let's go to the rules. Rule number one. For each of the ratings, at least one but no more than two of the CDs receive that rating. Okay, so that means we have four ratings, and there's at least one CD that gets each rating, but no more than two. Well, we have four ratings, and we have six CDs, meaning we're going to have two CDs that share the same rating, and then two with different ratings. All right, rule number two. Headstrong received exactly one more star than Nice did. And I'm putting them vertically because we've made our setup vertical. So that means that Headstrong can't get one star because then there'd be no place for Nice to go and Nice couldn't get four stars. Okay, and then rule number three, either Headstrong or Reunion received the same number of stars as In Flight did. Now I'm putting these horizontally because that means they'd be in the same row for the rating. And the last rule, rule number four, at most, one CD received more stars than Quasi did. So that means that Quasi is either going to be... So that means that Quasi is either going to have three stars or four stars. Meaning we have the two options. Okay, one more time. So why is that? We, we're saying rule number four. At most, one CD received more stars than Quasi did. So that means Quasi can't be... If they're first or second, Quasi would have more than one CD receiving more stars, okay? So now we have the rules, our deductions, and our setup.